Hello everyone, we will try to recreate this animation. We start off by adding the cylinder, S, Shift, Z. Control A to apply scale. Right click, Shade Auto Smooth. And then we add a bevel modifier. We add four segments. I think this works. So the way we're gonna do the animation is using what we call drivers. We'll do that on the rotation channel. So if you go to object properties under an X rotation, we can right click and then add driver. This is where we can write the expression. But as soon as you uh, move your cursor out of this box, it will disappear. So another way is to right click, open drivers editor. So here we have access to this menu. And here, uh, we, we're not going to use any variable, we will just uh, paste our expression, and then I'll explain how the uh, what, what the expression is. So in my case, it's going to be this. Uh, so it's simply a sine function. Uh, this defines the amplitude of the sine function, this is the frequency. So the current expression here does this movement. I change the amplitude to something like 10 we get this and if I change the frequency to say 10 as well we get an even faster movement so the values that I found uh, good for this animation are 3 here and then an amplitude of 1.5 but yeah I just explained what the parameters are so you can change them however you like I will add a similar expression to the Y rotation to have a, a dynamic movement so right click add driver or you can use the shortcut uh, control D I don't use any variables I will paste my expression with changed parameters compared to the X channel and then press enter now I have a driver and if we see we can notice there is a, a rocking movement along the y-axis as well I think it just makes the animation a little better since I want the movement to be cloned uh, along different instances of this object uh, we will probably need to have access to an index variable that allows us to copy that with an offset but I will talk the so I you probably can do that in geometry notes but I will uh, do otherwise so I will just bake uh, this driver animation as keyframes and then I will uh, copy those keyframes to other instances in the area modifier so the way we do that is by having the object selected press F3 and then search for bake action bake action then you click here it tells you uh, the start frame the end frame then you just press OK now we have this movement as uh, keyframes but now we have both the driver's expression as well as the keyframes that are doing the movement which is kind of redundant so we need to remove the driver ex expression the way you do that is by having the object, se object selected sorry and then you go to drivers here you can either select these two and then press X to delete them or you can just with your cursor if you don't want to go to access this menu you can with your cursor on the property that's uh, that has the expression you can press Control alt d this will remove the expression now we will add our array modifier we can do 20 and then uh, the factor x is going to be a little Better than this. This is up to you, you can tweak it however you like. We can even go higher. Over 30. So now we want to se separate these objects, so uh, each one is a separate instance. We will apply uh, the modifiers and then go into edit mode. Select everything with A, P, by loose parts. 
you can now see that each object has uh, its own keyframes and uh, what we want is to offset each object by let's say 5 or 10 frames to have this delay in animation so the way we do that is using an add-on called Gomotion it's free you can download it you can I will probably put the link in the description once you install the add-on you select all the objects with A press N to access the add-on menu here Gomotion and then this is where you can define the offset in my case I want it to be let's say 8 and then you just click on offset animation now as you can see it will offset the animation for each object so we have this I actually think 8 is too much uh, so if you want to reset this with, with the object selected again just set the offset to 0 and then click the button and well come back uh, I will put maybe 4 Yeah, I think I like it better. It feels uh, smoother. But yeah, that's the main idea of the tutorial. The, the rest is just setting up uh, the scene however you like.